Hey everyone, it's Bianca and welcome back to another seemingly perfect video. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a little lookbook of different ways to style the Aritzia Super Puff Long Jacket and I have it in matte black. And we're also going to be hearing kind of my thoughts and kind of how I felt about this jacket so far. I've had it for about a month now and I've been using it. It's currently winter. So yeah, we're just going to do a little style and a little review on it. This jacket, as you can see, is super long. Mind you, I'm only 5'2", and I'm going to be honest, this jacket has some pros and some cons, but I'm going to tell you the truth right now. I love this jacket. It was a jacket that I thought long and hard about getting. Um, it is definitely a jacket that you don't really expect shorter girls to wear, or at least you wouldn't really necessarily see that in fashion, or at least on the magazines and in the pictures on Instagram because this jacket is really, really long. I don't know if you can see, I'm wearing heels right now too. And it is extremely long. It keeps you so warm. You have options to unbutton the sides, make it look fancy. And the one thing that I really like about this jacket is it pretty much goes with every outfit. And I mean that quite literally, especially for Canadian winters. You can actually go out in this jacket with a dress on and you won't freeze to death necessarily, but you will be protected throughout your whole body, if you're short at least, and it covers your whole body. So yeah. So right now I've just paired this with some jeans, kind of just a regular day-to-day -day look that I would wear this out with. I really like this jacket because it has finger holes your thumbs it'll keep your hands or your palms warm at least and you also have a hood that is detachable and you can also also cinch it to make it shorter and more bundled up for the winters um, this jacket also has side pockets right here and I think that's the only pocket and it, it also has pockets on the side here which are pretty deep. You can put like your phone in here and yes, you can put a max in. So yeah, you have two pockets, they both zip. Um, another thing about this jacket is it zips up kind of like above the knees, so it's not all the way down. So when you're walking, you can uh, still have walk with it on without being trapped. Um, so yeah. zipping it up. A little later on into the video, you'll see me out in the elements using this jacket and I'll show you how I put it on and what I wore it with and how it looks in pictures because it looks amazing in pictures too. I'm also going to be honest, while I was wearing this jacket out, I've noticed a lot of people have been staring at me with this jacket on. And I know what you're thinking, no, it's not weird stares, but I'm not sure if it's good stares too. Let's just say this is a jacket that will grab some attention, even in black, because it is a huge jacket, at least on short girls here. And people will look at you and <laughs> kind of laugh at you a little bit, but in the end, it is a really stylish jacket, and I think they're secretly jealous. <laughs> So the one thing that I do like about this jacket is if you have everything closed up and buttoned up, you have the option of unbuttoning the sides so then you can walk freely and kind of, you know, kick your legs more and not be trapped like a little cocoon. But I do like the option of being a cocoon because winter sucks, guys. It is cold outside and I do not like to be cold. So I really appreciate this jacket. Another thing that I like about this jacket is it is extremely warm without being heavy. 
and I'm trying to think of a comparison. So you have like your winter parkas. Those are extremely heavy. This is a type of jacket that you could wear. The wind's not going to get through because it's windproof. And you're also going to be able to walk around in the shopping malls with this and not get hot right away. And if you do get hot, you can take off the jacket and just carry it. I know it's kind of big to carry, but it's smushy and not uh, super huge to the point where it's taking up a whole bunch of room. Um, yeah, so those are my thoughts so far. Um, I believe this jacket, uh, it says that it can withstand minus 40 weather. And that is a lot to, to go about because you know in Canada it gets really cold. So this is the type of jacket that you just want to bring everywhere. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to do some style looks with this jacket. But the next outfit that I have is more of a fancier out on the go outfit. Um, I have just a long sleeve dress and some tights and the same boots that I have and it's just more of a kind of going out type of outfit and yeah so I actually wore this out in the winter yesterday and I went to take pictures with the Christmas lights outside and it this jacket oh let me tell you if I didn't have this jacket I would have froze to death for sure because tights and wind chill do not get along and as you can see this jacket goes way down to the bottom and the only parts that are showing are just right on my shin there and that was the only part that was cold minus my fingers of course but like I said with the fingers just tuck them back in your jacket that's all you need it's super warm so this is the outfit that I wore with this jacket and the pictures turned out really nice I'm going to show you a little video of me zipping up my jacket once I was super freezing. And let me tell you one more thing about this jacket that I really like. Because it's so long and it's so warm, I had no problem with staying outside, even though I was wearing tights and everything, because it just covered my whole body and the wind chill was crazy. It was only minus 17 degrees Celsius, but the wind chill was pretty bad. And my mom, who had a Canada Goose jacket, which is about three times more the price of this jacket, froze first before I did. Like, the Canada Goose jackets, also, like, they keep your body warm, but hers was a short one. So having a long jacket really made the difference, and you don't need to spend crazy, crazy amounts of money. In fact, I kind of like this jacket better than a Canada Goose jacket because the uh, weight of the jacket is more lighter and it feels more free. I tend to get very claustrophobic with very heavy winter parkas so having something like a super puff where it's really light and um, not super heavy and the fabric is very soft and not like crunchy. Have you ever had those type of jackets that are just hard and crunchy jackets? I don't like those. This jacket is the way to go. Another thing about this jacket is, like I said, once you have them open like this, it's super fun to walk in because you do not feel restricted or anything. Because, you know, you've got your foot out. Yeah. <laughs> and to go over a bit of the cons, the one thing that I have been reading up about is this jacket, the buttons on the inside tend to peel off the paint when you keep snapping and snapping them on and snapping them off. Of course, the paint's gonna peel off. I'm not entirely sure if the black buttons do, but I'm, because these ones look like they're metal and not painted. But of course, that's just on the inside. I don't really mind if that happens. One thing that I do have a bit of a concern about is of course the jacket is long so when you're sitting down a lot like say in the car I'm really worried about it getting flat in the back area 
and being all wrinkly because the fluff inside has just gone flat but of course that might happen later on hopefully it doesn't happen soon i feel like every jacket of course is gonna get all deflated you're just gonna be sitting on it a whole bunch of times but if that doesn't happen that's great i guess i'm just gonna have to find out later on uh, one thing that I have been doing is when I get into the car, I kind of scratch everything up and I sit down not on the jacket so then I don't have to deal with um, a flattened jacket in the future. Of course, that is going to be personal preference on how you feel about that. Um, and a good thing that I really like about this jacket is this jacket does not get dirty. Of course, maybe other colors get dirty. I know they have like a couple different uh, material styles now. I'm pretty sure they have a fully waterproof one. This one is um, just repellent, water repellent. So when snow falls on it, it just goes down. Whereas waterproof would be kind of like rain jacket material, I'm guessing. This jacket does not get dirty because let me tell you, there was one day that I was walking in slushy, dirty snow because it was kind of melty. And you know when you walk, you kind of kick the dirt up behind you? So the whole outside of my jacket got all dusty and dirty and lined with um, that slushy, dirty snow stuff on the ground. And I was just like, oh great, now I have to clean it. So I went home and I took it off and I totally forgot about cleaning my jacket, which is really bad because you should clean it right away, but it actually worked out in my favor. The next morning when I woke up, I was like, oh no, I have to clean my jacket. And all I did was just wipe it with my hand and the dust kind of just went and everything was back to normal again. So yeah, this jacket is really easy to keep clean because I didn't even have to do anything really once it got all dirty. We'll go back to the video where you can see me putting on the jacket outside where it's super cold. Okay, it's super cold now. My yeah. hands are red. So I'm going to button myself up. Because this jacket, you have the option of having everything unbuttoned or buttoned up. my fingers so it's easy to button up there you go okay <laughs> okay everyone thank you so much for watching um, we're just gonna end the video with some pictures of me if you're new to the channel please follow me and like this video if you want to see more style videos also follow my Instagram at seemingly perfect I'm gonna try to post some more um, kind of outfit style pictures and yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.